trying to get it tailored um, but today I wanted to wear it it looks like I also need to wash it because sis is definitely at a stage where she needs to get herself cleaned up and well prepared for season 10 <laughs> um, and then this dress is actually from pretty little thing if I take it off you'll see which I should actually let me take it off real quick this dress right here is from Pretty Little Thing. It's actually a spaghetti strap backless dress. I just layered it with a turtleneck. This is a great thing about winter and fall or fall and winter season. You get to layer your summer pieces into the love that you always wanted to be part of. Um, so yeah, I decided to belt the waist with my Valentino belt. This cardigan right here, I got it from Marshalls a while ago as well. And uh, one thing about black cardigans, you gotta make sure you have that little fuzziness thingy to get rid of these white fuzz. But I've been really warm, very, very warm. And then for my feet, the boots are definitely my fall essentials. These boots right here are definitely my fall essentials. I've been wearing them with just about anything. And I feel like when it comes to shoes, or my outfits nowadays. I want something that I can wear with just about anything. Versatility has definitely been something I've been focusing on. And I like how they look with dresses on, skirts on, jeans, leggings, you name it, even trousers. Definitely looks really nice with leather pants. Definitely my fave. But yeah, this is the outfit of the day. I didn't wear jewelry today just because I wanted my focus to be on the dress and also the belt. Um, I should have worn earrings, but it's time for me to also get my accessories up as well. But I did wear a watch just to give myself a cute little chain on my wrist vibe. But yeah, this is my outfit of the day. I will be wearing my coat so we can head back to the office. I also feel like I found the best bathroom on campus. <laughs> I just like the aesthetic 
in this bathroom. It's a very well put together compared to the bathroom that we have in our office. It's not cute at all. It's giving gas station, it's giving rest area, and I'm not vibing. Um, I tried to I tried to take an outfit of the day video in there one time, and I have it in my previous vlogs, and it was not cute at all. But this one right here is definitely cute. I think I'm gonna start taking my outfit of the day videos here. Well, right now there's no students, so I feel like once classes are back, this place will be packed. But it's engineering. You know what that means. I don't know. <laughs> but let me go back to work. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. I wouldn't say holding back on. I would say I wasn't able to record because every Saturday the choir rehearsal would be at the house, which means parents and their kids will be at the house and I am not part of the choir. And I had to watch some people's kids to make sure they don't break nothing this month in the house. It's time for me to switch sleepwear because it's time for me to level up on my sleepwear. This is embarrassing. Tomorrow is my Christmas party for work. We're doing White Elephant. It's actually my first time. This one, you know you are at a different corporate everything. I am attending my first work Christmas event. My last job did not have that. My last job, I worked for a non-profit political organization and we didn't celebrate Christmas or do the things that we do here at this job because some people celebrated Kwanzaa, some people did not believe in a whole white man Christmas from the Christianity perspective. Um, Christmas is not a white man celebration is the birth of Christ and yeah so we didn't have no white elephant Christmas party we did retreats every month or every two to three months I think but we didn't have you know 
events like this one. So I will be going to my first corporate Christmas event and we're going to enjoy it. I will show you guys the stuff that I'm actually going to be putting into my Christmas white elephant present or as my white elephant present. And also, we're not celebrating Christmas until New Year's, <laughs> until next year. Um, Christmas for my household, my family, as you say that way, has been pushed back for, it's been pushed back for January. Six, I believe. So we're not doing Christmas right now. Or we're not doing Christmas on Christmas. Because of the fact that my niece and her parents are in Atlanta. And they won't be here for Christmas. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna wait for them to get back from Atlanta. And we're gonna celebrate Christmas together. Which also <clears throat> which also helps because I'm also gonna get that break on stressing out on Christmas presents. So that's good for me. It gave me an extra week to really Christmas shop for those who I have a shop for. <laughs> this lens to this spot. Um, I feel like they gave me a broken lens because it takes every time I am working or filming whatever and I spoke to one of the photography um, employees or employees at a photography store and I told them about this Tamron lens that I recently purchased and how it takes and he was like, it's not supposed to tick because it's not supposed to tick. And I was supposed to go to that photography store so that they can take a look at it. Because I've also been watching this girl who also has the same lens and she does cinnamon, cinnamon, cinematic vlogs. And she bought this as her vlogging lens and hers doesn't tick. So I think mine is broken. So we got a problem. So I gotta go to bed Best Buy tomorrow after work and see if they can trade me and trade me and give me a different lens because this one is ticking. And I got a uh, two years warranty or two years, whatever you call it. I promise I'm not itching my butt. <laughs> I'm actually itching my back. My back and my neck. I know you know. This whole time, the towel that I've been looking for, thinking that it magically just disappeared, I was gonna go into prayer mode and rebuke the blood of Jesus in this room. Come to find out, it's on my door. Like I hung it back there, and I've been looking for it this whole entire time. I was wondering where did it disappear to, or how did it disappear? But anyways, um, yeah, it's been a long day. This vlog is not really like an exciting vlog tried to you know make something out of something um i'm starting to kind of get into my my creative thoughts and i really do like storytelling and i'm obsessed with cinematic vlogs i kind of want to shift into that gear and really create things that i like I feel like my brain is very creative. I'm a creator and I love creating things. It's the reason why I majored in communications. I really saw myself being a broadcaster and stuff like that. What does that have to do with that? What I have to say, I don't know. 
but I'm just gonna say that I'm excited and yeah I just want to create things um, so stay tuned I'm trying to show y'all one second so tomorrow is my first ever company corporate Christmas party gathering gather gathering and it's a white white elephant so I'm gonna be gifting this book right here that I was gifted when I worked for my last job my director gifted me this book I read it and it's a it's, it's a dope interesting book but I personally don't understand a whole lot in this book and I feel like re-gifting it to someone who might enjoy it more than I enjoyed it is great. It's the power of conceding conceits nothing. How to grassroots organizing one elections. I don't know if I should re-gift this because they would definitely know that it's from me. Because I told them I was coming from a nonprofit organization, political workspace. I might find something. I'll probably, I'm gonna re-gift a book. I'm not sure if it's this though. We'll figure it out tomorrow. I have a lot of gifts downstairs that I can re-gift to other people. I was thinking about re-gifting a uh, iPad pencil, but I was like, no, you tripping. <laughs> you be tripping. But we'll figure something out. Hopefully we can find something. Or I'll probably just go to the store, Dollar General or something, and get a mug or something. Who knows? But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for today's vlog. I didn't really do much, just went to work. Um, it's just my life, I guess, in 14, 20 minutes. I don't know how long this will be, but <clears throat> tomorrow's a new day. We are going to turn up, turn up, turn up corporate style. Yeah, so I should give them my diploma. I promise I'm not itching my butt. I'm scratching my back. I'm scratching my back. But anyways, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a beautiful night. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful vlogmas day. I don't know how long, how many days this is. But tomorrow shall be another vlogmas. And I just want to say thank you so much for your support. Thank you for those of you who tuned in to every vlogmas that I've been posting. I truly appreciate you guys. I'm really excited to get back on YouTube and really be consistent and I feel like this was a way for me to start my consistency journey and I can't wait to see what God has for this channel. All these ideas that I have going on in my head, I can't wait to push it out for you to also enjoy. But yeah, stay blessed. Don't forget to pray before you go to bed. Be grateful of where you are in life. Now I'm just talking. Have a blessed night and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Whoa.